I guess I'm gonna end my stream. Hello and welcome to the Battlefield 4 Top Plays. What an amazing clip that was to start off the episode. Quick sent in a load of clips. They're all only in Battlefield moments, and he's the sort of guy that will pull these things off all the time. It doesn't matter whether he's in a chopper, playing infantry, in a tank, he's always getting these amazing only in Battlefield moments. As you can see, a couple of them in the background, just as a taster of what's to come, he's getting all sorts of epic top play moments. Now this is what Battlefield 4 is renowned for. Loads of this stuff happens all the time. In every game, there's always an only in Battlefield moment happening to you or a friend. Whilst in BF5 and BF1, there are still only in Battlefield moments, that's for sure, but it's never on the same level as what we had in Battlefield 4. This game was just on a different level when it came to these crazy highlight moments like the stuff you're seeing in the background. I'll leave a few more of them for you to watch because I just love watching them. I've watched these five or six times while editing the video and I'll watch them again when this video eventually releases because they are that awesome. Now I know he had the intro clip for this video, but Savon also sent in a couple more clips that I wanted to showcase in the background. An incredible sniper in pretty much every Battlefield game there is. Also just a great all-round infantry player. This guy will be pulling off clip after clip without too much trouble. This one with the CS5 is incredibly satisfying. Loads of players taken down with a selection of headshots in there as well. A little bit of a lag in the shadow play clip, but you can't blame him for that. Shadow play is very, very buggy on PC. It's a miracle it recorded it in the first place. The other clip he sent in was on Operation Locker and is a very satisfying 11 man spray down with the MG4 in the support class. I'm going to shoot that guy. Oh, well, well. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah. 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 Lonely Toe is going to be playing on Gonwood Railway, firing a small across the map, picking himself up an absolutely insane kill on that unsuspecting chopper. Now, as if that wasn't enough, he has sent in a couple more clips. Again, long-range smalls. I'm not sure how people do this. Maybe they sit there all day firing smalls into the distance and hoping they hit. But I imagine that this guy hits quite a few, considering the amount of clips like this that he has been sending in over the past month or so. Absolutely insane stuff. And then another one out of the side of a chopper. Once again, incredible. Only in battlefield moments. Zumbi Gaming is up next. He's playing on Gomwood Railway in the stealth jet on the Chinese side, pulling off a very satisfying snipe on an enemy player in the distance. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Well, I'm dead, Jake. Oh, well, I'm not in it anymore. What, like, 
wait, wait, are, are, are you in a stealth jet or an attack jet? Yes. <gasps> That's helpful. The Reaction HD is going to be playing on Operation Locker, but he's not using a weapon as such. He's on a quad bike. Check out what he does next. Eros is playing on Dawnbreaker, pulling off a couple of very satisfying rendezvous, a really satisfying double. Black Eagles is next up. This is Operation Metro, and we don't see a whole lot of Operation Metro clips on Battlefield 4 anymore. Being a DLC map, it's a very popular map, but just never that many clips are sent in i don't think a whole amount of people can get access to it in the same way they can operation locker he's going up the elevator you've all seen it before you know what's about to happen Two good old Operation Locker and a clip sent in from Dexter who's going absolutely mental with the AEK-971. Real meat grinder stuff here on Operation Locker as he is pushed by so many enemy players. Gets the advantage of spotting there through the smoke which is not something I really enjoy too much in BF4 since I've been playing BF5. But then again it does make players more visible and you can have a bit more fun that way. A great clip so far racking up over 1300 points pushing towards this section of the map he is playing tdm so you are limited with where you can move and the enemies do seem to be spawning on the outside lane and where they are in front of him here he manages to get a couple more taken down in a 17 man kill streak a fantastic clip Sticking with Operation Locker, we've got a clip sent in from Gremmy. He's going to be playing with the Sar on this outside lane, taking advantage of enemy players that are once again spotted, but not in a great position. He gets himself a couple of kills, makes his way inside, and there you can see the enemy team. They're all together, bunched up in a massive clump. Now, it's in these situations where you really have to work out what you're going to do. Are you going to camp? A little bit be a bit more passive in the way you play making sure that you stay alive in order to get as many kills as possible or do you want to run in like a maniac and go for one of those rambo clips he does a bit of both he sits back taking as many out as he can for eventually making his way into this section of the map and getting himself a load of kills in this 20 kill streak with this sar 21. He also sent in a couple more clips. They're shorter ones, but really quite awesome on Operation Locker. The God Sniper is very powerful, as you'll see right now. Also another one, same position, pushing towards C with a load of very blind enemy players camping the staircase. He pushes through and wipes them all out. Moving on, we have Wo Gaming, and he's going to be playing an Operation Locker with the AUG, or the Org, however you like to pronounce it. Now, he's going on a bit of a kill streak. 
he's running around getting himself a selection of kills and enemies that really aren't up to the task of stopping him but what's interesting about this clip is it brings about one of the best things that can happen to you in battlefield 4 getting kicked or banned by an angry admin i am of course being sarcastic it really does suck but it happens all the time and there's not a whole lot you can do about it a nice clip though as he does rack up a serious amount of kills i have edited it in some places because it's a lot longer this streak than i'd like to have on the top plays nonetheless it's a great bit of infantry gameplay How about a bit of Ghoulin Peaks and a clip from Azuma Shirako? He's going to be pushing towards this little section of the tunnels where enemies love to camp. And it's probably because you've got this bit of high ground right on the objective and you also get access to all of those little weapons in there, the pickup weapons, and then you get the bomber as well, I believe, just down at the bottom of the slope. So people do enjoy this section of the map. It's always well populated. He manages to get himself in a position to take enemies down. A nice little streak with the AK-5C, a weapon we don't see used a lot with a load of kills. Nose is next up with an incredibly accurate sniping clip. Black Cube 001 is next up on Nancha Strike, getting himself a couple of very awesome tow missiles from this tow launcher at the edge of the map. Keeping it with the tow missiles, we've got TK97, I think that's how you pronounce your name. He's going to be pushing with this boat to get as many kills as he can with the tow missile three in total very satisfying you don't see this sort of stuff too often on battlefield 4. the final one is again with the lab a very nice tow clip mad mendoza sent in a very awesome attack jet kill streak 91 kills in total with over a 5 kpm and we don't often get kill streaks sent in to the top players because i can't really post them it's quite difficult to post a 15 minute gameplay even though it might be awesome so i've just split this up into a couple of my favorite parts you can go and check out the whole video on his channel he's got loads of gameplays there for the attack jet let me know what you think of this in the comments would you like me to attach larger kill streaks at the end of episodes maybe a 10 minute kill streak or something like that i feel a bit awkward posting that because it's not got a commentary on it and it's almost like someone else's content just strapped to the end of my video but if you guys want to see longer clips in the top plays i'm more than happy to post them i've watched this clip from start to finish and i have to say he's a very good attack jet pilot making use of this q5 phantom to take down pretty much anything he can on one of the best jet maps on the game a really nice one thanks for sending it in Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield 4 Top Plays. If you did enjoy, let me know down below. Leave a like so I know you enjoy the Battlefield 4 Top Plays. I don't post a whole lot of them, but it's nice to know some people are enjoying them at least. Remember to send your clips into battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com and I'll catch you in the next episode.